Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about Spy, the latest comedy from writer-director Paul Feig starring Melissa McCarthy. McCarthy plays Susan Cooper, a CIA desk agent who's basically acting as the eye in the sky of sorts for a field agent, in this case Bradley Fine, played by Jude Law. Basically, she's doing stuff like remote computer hacking and satellite monitoring and that kind of stuff while he does the dirty work in the field. And on one of Fine's missions, he runs into a Russian terrorist who is in possession of a nuclear weapon and also apparently knows the identity of every CIA field agent. Which means if they are going to go undercover to capture her, then they have to send in someone who she does not know, someone who is not currently in the field. Susan volunteers because she is actually trained as a field agent, even though she spent most of her career behind the desk, and she sets out to find the terrorist and the nuke. And of course, hijinks, pratfalls, and Jason Statham ensue. This is the latest team-up between Melissa McCarthy and Paul Feig. The two have previously worked together on Bridesmaids and Heat. Bridesmaids I actually never saw. I'm not sure how that happened. I just never got around to it for some reason. Heat I have seen, and... Didn't like it as much as most people seem to, but I thought it was okay. Spy, I really liked. This was a very, very funny movie. It has a very good balance of physical and verbal comedy, and for the most part, the jokes work very well. Clearly, Feig and McCarthy work very well together, and Feig really knows how to play to her strengths and doesn't just turn her into an endless running fat joke. And it would be so easy to make her nothing more than a pratfalling idiot because she, to her credit, she does do physical comedy very well, but her character is actually very intelligent. And don't get me wrong, there are plenty of pratfalls in this movie, but McCarthy doesn't fall on her face because she's a bumbling moron. She does it because she's placed in situations where anyone would do a faceplant. I did like all the little homages to James Bond films in this movie. The opening scene, in fact, was very reminiscent of a James Bond film with Jude Law's character infiltrating a terrorist hideout. Even the soundtrack sounded kind of like a Bond film. And of course, when McCarthy goes into the field, she does get her share of James Bond-style gadgets. And one of the posters is pretty obviously an homage to Goldfinger. There was a lot of really good action in this movie, more than I expected, really. Some good chase sequences, some good fights. McCarthy gets to kick her fair share of ass, or at least her stunt double does. No real complaints about the acting. Jude Law did a fantastic job as a CIA agent. He's as good as he always is. Rose Byrne plays a Russian arms dealer who cranks up the spoiled princess routine to unprecedented heights. You can't help but laugh at this character's dialogue, but at the same time, you really want to see someone strangle that bitch. It's that kind of character. Allison Janney plays Susan's boss and basically acts as the straight woman of the movie, and she has some very funny lines. Peter Serafinowicz, am I saying his name right? Maybe, but he plays a libidinous Italian agent who spends most of his time on screen creeping Susan out and doing a very good job of it. 50 Cent actually has a cameo in this movie as himself and gets a few funny lines in there, including a nice little dig at Kanye. I don't know if that was his idea or Paul Feig's, but it was funny. But Jason Statham is the one who really steals the show. He plays a CIA agent who goes rogue and has a grossly overinflated ego. He is constantly telling these stories about previous missions he's been on and crazy shit he's done, some of which I think is actually taken from other movie roles he's played in the past. And some of them are just so ridiculous. I don't know where, how they come up with this shit. It's like, one time I had this arm completely severed clean, came right off, reattached it with the other arm. And Susan's like, yeah, I don't think that's possible, no. But for all his bragging, he's actually kind of an idiot and comes very close to getting himself killed on more than one occasion. Come to think of it, Statham seems to be one of the few non-American actors in this movie who's using his natural accents. Jude Law, whose English is playing an American. Sarah Finowich, who is also English, is playing an Italian. Byrne is an Aussie, and she's playing a Russian. Nothing wrong with any of the accents, they all sounded fine, I just thought that was interesting. And I'm trying to think of something that I can complain about, something that this movie did wrong, but really, there's not a whole lot. I mean, there are a few jokes here and there that kind of misfired, but for the most part, it's a very funny and clever movie, and I really enjoyed it. I mean, if you can have one of your characters say, hey, fuck you too, and have the audience reaction be, aww, that's when you know you've written some good comedy. That makes more sense in context, I promise you.
Now, as far as a recommendation, comedies are always kind of tricky to recommend because unlike action or sci-fi movies, they don't really rely on big visuals and special effects, so there's no real reason to have to see this on the big screen, so I'd normally recommend waiting for a rental, but honestly, if you pay full price for this one, I don't think you're going to feel ripped off because this was a really good film. And that's all I have to say about Spy, so until next time, take care.